Signal confirmed. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Given the circumstances, what are we expecting to find down there? Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Yes, but then what? If this is a Reaper, how can we ally ourselves with it? They are monsters, never to be trusted. Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible? The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres. But I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Shuttle, Cortez. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Shepard, what if those 
explains why no one gets out of here. Looks like a damaged atlas. Different, though, and it's not flying Cerberus colors. Primitive. Not worth the repair. Situation. Swapping out the parts, Commander. Hang on.
Chris is in trouble. Get to him. Okay, we're clear. Nice work, Commander. But there's a development. We need to talk. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. The Normandy could extract us. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. Well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Shepard, perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Are we seriously proposing? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? It appears we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. I got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in.
I need to get in the water before they come back. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to dive. I should check it over first. Commander, let's get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Commander, risk is rarely a hindrance. With this plan, even I would hesitate. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operation. Scanner indicates the probe is below my position. Looking for a way down. Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. Can't see anything just yet. Keep moving.
had to find you. This is not your domain. You have breached the darkness. You killed a Reaper. I need to know why. They are the enemy. One that seeks our extermination. But... I thought you were a Reaper. They are only echoes. We existed long before. Then what are you? Something more. <coughs> Your mind belongs to me. Breathe. <coughs> Dan. <coughs> What's happening? Galaxies at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. Before the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it... Harbinger. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest.
Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence is one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays. To speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency, the galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this, once and for all. I've earned it. Out there fighting, where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood.
Doctor, wake up! It's freezing! <coughs> Are you all right? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Anne. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war, just like us. It sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Ann. And thanks for all your help. Shepard up. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Need something, Shepard? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. So, Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them, or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Faster than light jump successful.
Signal confirmed. something. Signal confirmed. Asian successful. Reapers eluded. light jump successful. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? It'll be there momentarily. After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? It's the war. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. You said you've been distant and the war here. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news, the Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and oh yeah, a big ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen, once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? 
No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Good hunting. You're back, huh? Anything? Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. All Citratine Armory products include a lifetime guarantee for performance. See our extranet site Thank for Thank you for shopping at Cipertine Armory. We've got to keep changing things. Commander Shepard. I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavin back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. In colonies. Yes, his squad did return. Cerberus forces have reportedly attacked a Solarian even look me in the eyes. Why would you tell Solarian me? Solarian officials have no I problem. simply want my son found. Refugees from Reaper occupied. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please. A few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family.
Someone in your family is MIA? My son Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Palau's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Fierce fighting continues as the Reavers occupy most of Palamon. It appears that Turian forces may lose their planet. Good morning. Oh, hello. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing, I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost, and my assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Shepard? Did you know a lot of people? Many. It's... I must know. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff. But to have it all gone. Hmm. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course. But the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. I'll be here. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. 
The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar oh. Embassy? Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. Azari Intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Celia Nebula and the Nimbus Cluster. But what I need is proof. I can't take your Using word on this. Please tell the Prime. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Wow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone. And Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it.
Sold an Avena terminal for assistance. Hello, Commander Shepard. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osova. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Please speak with me again. Refugees from Reaper occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift camps in civil documents. I can't. Tell me you have found my son. Not yet. My apologies. Thank you for looking. The Sorry Intelligence is reporting sightings of Weaver forces in Sabine Nebula and a Nimbus cluster. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Using Hades Gamma as a staging area, Reaper forces yes. have rapidly expanded into the Gemini Sigma and Voyager clusters. Let me know when you've had a chance to talk to Sedaris. Intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Selean Nebula and the Nimbus cluster. Using Hades Gamma as a staging area, Reaper forces have rapidly expanded yes, his squad into the Gemini did Sigma return. and Voyager clusters. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benny. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. Humanity has suffered a heavy blow as Arcturus Station, capital of the system's alliance, has fallen to Reaper forces. Welcome back to the Human Embassy, Commander Shepard. The Normandies docking bay for medical needs. 
The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay Do you have any information? No, the bar. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has no establishment by that name on... What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel, and the human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to... That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Cerberus forces have reportedly attacked a Solarian medical facility on Sir Cash. Solarian officials have been claimed. Refugees from Reaper occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift camps in the Citadel docking bays. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of the Paladin. Shepard? I'll be here. Bow. Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for you. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. I'm sorry? Refugees from Reaper Do you don't think you had a problem? You know what happened on Parshar? Apologies. I thought since your homeworld. Stop! Just stop! Thank you, human. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Thank you for your patronage. Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve.
I've got a list of new Hanor arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanor names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanor soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Bow. Here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zamandis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Palavan. It appears that Turian forces may lose their planet. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it! Wait! A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Upload's disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. 
All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. Let me know when you've had a chance to talk to Sedaris. Listen, honey, please. This is how it has to be. Everyone's going through this. I know, and I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just so damn inconvenient. It's like we're pre-space flight all of a sudden. Pretty much. You should see what your gun is using for heavy munitions. It's all mass-produced Elkos combine crap. Wait, munitions? Explosive munitions? I thought you weren't going to be on the front lines. Not in pot combat zones. No, of course not. But sometimes, they need us to breach enemy fortifications. Goddess, you said you were just going to be building emergency outposts. Please contact your enemy for Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. supplies and then I'd advise traveling someplace safer any opened goods can only be returned for store Please credit visit any of our Elcos combine affiliate branches for any and all personal needs welcome to Kanala exports at Kanala exports we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart Cultivating Thank serenity you for shopping is at possible Canal Exports. even during times of crisis. Where is this going? Because if this isn't serious, then we need to talk.
willing to bet you look worse than I do. Yeah. Did you hear about the chemical fire and those kids from level E24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, uh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Oh, oh, oh yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Cypertine Armory. We appreciate your visit. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Good hunting. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. We've got to keep Jake and Diggs here. You should be so I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now 
arriving at docking bay E-24, emergency civilian housing. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane. You should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Shepard, the Council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Talok, of all people, got him to do it. Crazy. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Thanks please for your help, Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D-24.
Shepard Services landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground-to-space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there and stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Hack it out. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operational, Commander. I'll go back up, get a read on what they're shooting at. Get on it. All right. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. Let's do this. Control center secure. Then I think it's time to test this can. They cut power to the console. You need to get the power back on. Let's move. They're shuttling in reinforcements, fortifying their position.
rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Good work, everyone. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Messages at your yeah. private terminal, Commander. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. 
What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie, did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I thought. A secretarian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? It doesn't matter. Our mission is clear. Escape pod. Our first casualties. Survived the crash, but then a harvester took out the pod. Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and eaten by husks. Gunfire. They are near. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy. And there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. It's a big military name on Palavan. War's expected to run in the Victus blood. War was a way of life for my people as well. 